Astronomers are keeping an eye on an asteroid some believe could pass within 300 miles of Earth around November 2nd, 2020. NASA is now monitoring an asteroid that will come close to Earth, and it's expected to do it the day before the U.S. presidential election. The agency says the asteroid is named 2018 BP-1. Couple of things to keep in mind here. A jet propulsion lab in California is watching 2018 BP-1, the name of the asteroid, and on a scale of zero being duck and cover to nine being incredibly uncertain, they rate this asteroid a seven. Condition code goes from zero to nine. Zero being very good. They're highly certain of where this asteroid is gonna go. Nine is being highly uncertain, guys. Pay attention. We're at seven, okay? That means they're not very sure where the thing's going to go at all. And again, if it was zero, where they were saying we know exactly where it's going, I probably wouldn't be doing this. Looking at the close approach data, it's going to approach the moon and the earth very close on November the 2nd. Another thing, it's about six miles across. This time around, there is no question the asteroid known as 2018 VP1 is indeed coming right at us. So, Carissa Cedor at the Buell Planetarium, could it hit us? The answer is kind of yes. Uh, there is an asteroid that is projected to cross the orbit of the Earth. That is telling you we have a 300 and uh, basically 25 mile problem. It's going to come uncomfortably close to um, the Earth or any of the other planets. NASA says it takes the threat seriously and currently monitors roughly half the night sky. What scares you about what you're doing? What scares me are the little ones that don't hit the ground. Little ones, like the meteor that burst over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk in 2013. That one, for example, was less than 20 meters across and had the ability to take out a reasonable sized city. What scares me are the little ones what scares me are the little ones the little ones the little ones and all i could see was this humongous i don't know whether to call it an asteroid or a meteor it was already in earth's atmosphere but besides the huge one i saw little ones also and they weren't little they were just small compared to the giant one it was all over the news that a big asteroid was coming down to hit earth and that it was going to strike out a big portion of it and that everyone um, would in some way be affected but um, but it was going to take out a major piece of the population um, everyone was freaking out um, bridges were jam-packed they were not letting anyone cross the bridges like they were just all like jammed up there was chaos everywhere. The towns didn't even look like our normal towns anymore. Like I was taken to different areas of cities and towns and it, it kind of looked already ravished. But the smaller ones were already hitting cars and the street, they were already impacted. They've already impacted Earth. Like they were already coming down on Earth. The big one hadn't hit yet, but it was coming so fast. What scares me? Are the little ones. I could see the whole sky was covered with red dots and then meteorites, uh, small fiery meteorites started to rain upon the earth. What scares me are the little ones. Small meteorites coming to the earth and I could even see um, what looked like um, splashes of like sulfur or something coming on the floor and it was hitting people and people running around terrified and on catching fire. All of a sudden I'm outside of a house and these people are staring at their pool in the backyard. These meteorites, small meteorites, they're not detrimental, they're not dangerous, but they're definitely showing the wrath of God in, the, in those meteorites. It was um, burning, it was like burning coal coming down from, from heaven. Meteor falling, you know, a lot of distress. Um, People dead, you know, waves coming in, tsunami waves, earthquakes, destruction. This is what's coming right now, my brothers and sisters. Millions of people are going to die. There's going to be a huge tsunami wave that's going to strike the land. Millions and millions of people will perish very, very soon. Uh, it was a sunny day, and I was looking up in the sky, and I seen a meteor coming down, and it was a trail of smoke behind it. 
and a few moments later I seen another one so um, they progressively uh, increased in frequency frequency and uh, eventually I saw a huge one a huge mountain like rock burning with fire coming breaking through the clouds descending upon the earth and it was headed almost like the movie Deep Impact and everybody else when they looked they just started screaming running everywhere scared and it hit and we just knew there was a wall of water coming and it, a wall of water was surely coming the tsunami that it made was about 200 feet I'm guessing and people were going up into buildings they were running and trying to hide on the ground and you know just trying to flee as he rose and rose and rose and rose of dead body bags there were thousands upon thousands if not millions of them and to my right I could see military personnel like the army soldiers these are sort of near to the earth type asteroids. And as the name suggests, it was discovered in 2018. And it is predicted that this year, this November, uh, it might get close to us.